guys. Pardon my partially naked face here, but I just wanted to show you my contouring and highlighting routine today. And I actually do contour and highlight kind of in the middle of my makeup routine, you know, after my foundation, obviously, but I do it before my eyes. So you're kind of seeing me in the middle of my makeup here. But I just wanted to show you my contouring and highlighting routine today. So let's get started. Okay, so for my contour and blush, I use either one of two products. Um, I use, they're both e.l.f., um, but one of them is the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder, and the other is the Contouring Blush and Bronzing Cream. These products are basically the same. They're actually in the same shade. St. Lucia is the shade I use. It's just that one is a powder and one is a cream. So this is what the powder looks like, and this is what the cream looks like. They look pretty much identical next to each other, except that the powder has kind of a bit of a shimmer in it, and the cream is just matte. Most of the time I use the powder simply because it's easier to use, and I kind of like a little bit of that shimmer, but some days I use the cream if I know my makeup's gonna have to last a lot longer. If I want a flatter look, I don't want that shimmery look. Sometimes I'll use the cream, but most often I use the powder. Okay, so today I am just going to be using the powder since that's what I use most often. And I'm going to be using this angled brush from e.l.f., and I use this for both the blush and the bronzer. So what I do first is I take my bronzer, and all I do is I just kind of tap the brush into it once like that. That's really all the product you need. Um, the bronzers in these are like super pigmented, so you really don't need a lot of product at all, especially if you're fair skinned like me. So I tap it once, and then I just kind of start up here, um, kind of by my hairline, and just draw a line. And I just kind of draw that to kind of hollow out my cheekbones, then I do another quick tap, and I just kind of circulate this up onto my temples. I don't like the super bronze glow, so that's why I don't use a lot of bronzer, especially since these are so pigmented. Um, if you like a more bronze look, you might want to use, you know, two or three taps of this, but this is really all I prefer. So once I've done that, like I said, to just kind of haul out my cheekbones. Um, sometimes I will contour under here or contour along the sides of my nose. I'm not going to do that today. I don't do it very often, just if I'm wanting a more refined look. So then I go on to the blush, and the blush is not nearly as pigmented as the bronzer. So I do, you know, three, four, five swirls of that until I have like, you know, just a little bit of tint on my brush. And then I just kind of swirl this onto my cheeks. Just kind of right above that contour line. And I don't use a lot of blush, I know a lot of people kind of take it up a little more. I just don't like that look, so I just kind of swirl it in um, right over that contour line just to kind of soften it up and kind of buff it out a little. Then to blend that out even more, I'll usually go in with a, uh, like a total face brush or a powder brush, something like that, and just kind of blend it out on my cheeks just so it's not such quite a harsh line. <laughs> Then for my highlighting, I use the Shimmer Palette, and right now I am using this white color over here, although it looks kind of tan, <laughs> kind of sometimes, actually in the camera it looks more white, but anyway. And I'm just using another angled brush from e.l.f., and what I do is I just kind of, this product is actually like a cream, so I just kind of work my brush back and forth a few times in that, just until I have barely any product at all. And then I just draw a highlight right under my eye. Just kind of that same angle as the contour, except a couple inches higher. And if you're new to working with this product, you may need to work with it quite a bit. It works like it moves around pretty well on the face. It doesn't, um... You know, it doesn't just stick there as soon as you put it on, but it being a cream, it's a little different than, you know, using a powder or something like that. So you just kind of have to work the product around on your face and get used to how it um, moves around and stuff like that. But I think it works really well as a highlight. You know, it's just this nice little pop of color, um, or pop of shimmer rather, not a pop of color is what I'm trying to say. And it just really draws the light in right on your face and gives this awesome highlight. And I've found that, um, obviously, contouring uh, really defines your makeup and takes it to the next level, but doing a highlight on the top of your cheekbone is what really takes your makeup from that everyday girl in her bathroom to that prof more professional look. Um, and I'm, I am an everyday girl doing my makeup in, not my bathroom, but, and I'm not a professional makeup artist. I don't <laughs> claim to be a makeup genius or anything like that. I'm a beginner just like probably most of you guys. Um, but I've found that doing the highlight is what really takes it to that next level and makes you look like you really know what you're doing. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.
Bye.